Hey guys, what's up? It's Gaming Minion. And in this video, we are going to be doing part two of Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. So, yeah, it's about to be real fun. So, let's go ahead and start again. Continue. Yeah. Alrighty. So, I'm really enjoying this Let's Play so far. So, yeah. And also, it really helps that I got my new headset. By the way, I just did an unboxing video. So, you guys can go check that out. Loading, loading. I've always thought, like, if you move the analog stick with, like, the loading symbol, it make it go faster. But I don't know if that's true. So, right where we left off, it's going to get back in first person. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure we already looted everything. Yeah, I think we looted everything already. Why is this dude sitting back down? Why are you sitting back down, dude? It's important that you're relaxed for this next test. It is. Please have a seat. Ooh, my butt. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Dog. Bark. Are you serious? Kick. <laughs> House. Burger eyes. Night. Night. Dark. Silencer, haha. <laughs> Bandit. Bandit. Kill. Stab. Light. I don't know. Torch. Mother. Mother. Dead. Human shield. Mm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and yeah. I reckon that ain't kill always you. the best thing. I'll shoot you in the head, dude. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my Oh, shoo, I ain't saying that. Strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Yep. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I just want to be a cocky little kid today. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. You call me stupid? I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Yeah, I'm gonna beat somebody's butt. Blah, blah, Almost blah, blah. done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Mushroom. Tell me what you see. Hang on, let me look at it for a minute. Um, I say... Uh, woozy. Too angry. What? I'm gonna do okay. That. How about this one? A guy. What the heck? Like, a ship at sea that does not look like a ship at all. Some piece of, yeah. Last one. Spades. Mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. Who's she? I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Alrighty, so we're gonna, we're gonna, um, explosives, boom, boom, melee weapons, no, I don't want melee weapons anymore, honestly, I don't really use, like, uh, I don't use, really use melee, um, energy, the energy weapon skill determines your effectiveness with any weapon that you use as cells, microfusion cells, etc, packs, and, uh, explosive, definitely, survival, so I think this will help out a lot because then they'll be able to get us like more food. Unarmed, no. Cause if we go on by ourselves, like going to fight in like a battle or something, then we're gonna easily die. So nah. Sneak, no. We're gonna go with guns. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. <laughs> yeah. Um, built to destroy. Fast shot. 
but that's 20% less accurate, so that means we have less of a chance of actually killing them. That's not going to help any. Um, I didn't choose melee weapons, so it's not going to help. Small frame, due to your small size, you have one. But your limbs are easy. No, because then we're going to easily break bones to get hurt. Loose cannon from the fag, grenades, throwing spencer. You can throw weapons 30% faster at the cost of 20 points. Uh, then, um, see, that's the bad thing about this. Like, we get, a, uh, you got 10% action points, but your reckless nature cards. Um, sorry, to gone. You're good natured at heart, more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence you gain. No. I think we're gonna go with fast shot and that. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. What's up, bruh? We ain't got nothing on this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, you ain't got nothing on this. We ain't got nothing on this, bruh. We ain't got nothing on this. We ain't got nothing on this, this. Oh, yeah. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. Pip boy! They call it a Pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up. Doc, what do I do now? You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Oh, but right. try not to get killed. Watch. Well, he says that, no, he says that, not trying to get killed anymore, but technically I didn't die. Technically I just got shot in the head, so, uh, your point is invalid, buddy, because I didn't die. I just got shot. Loading symbol. Takes for freaking ever. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Sunny Smiles check in the saloon. Let's go ahead and go to the saloon. Back in the saddle. So where's the saloon at? It's gonna get first person. There it is. Here's a saloon. Ooh, motorcycle. Swag. Swag, bruh. Come on, jump up there. I want to ride the motorcycle. Ride the motorcycle. Oh, my God. Here, maybe. Hold on. Do do do. Bah. Ooh, yeah. What the heck was that? Is that Victor? Hey Victor! Howdy, partner! Might Get away I from me! Get away! Fit as a fiddle? Get away! Can I? Can I? Goodbye! I don't like you. You creep me out. Freaking! You gonna take me to his basement and lock me in? All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and head into here in the saloon and see what she got to say. Then we'll end the video here. Open. Open. 
Okay. Dude. See what we're doing now. Ooh, doggy. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Don't tell her to. What's wrong with you, child? Um, sorry, I was reading something. Doc Mitchell said you can teach me how to survive in the desert. I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? I don't. I wonder what she's going to teach us. It's probably going to be like something stupid, and I don't really want to do it. Because I just feel like it's going to be something really dumb. Let's just go to Prim. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. Okay. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Okay. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay. Until next time. Until next time, buddy. Doggy! What would happen if we hit the dog? I kind of want to know. Let's see if we can find anything in here that we can loot. Um... I, we'd be stealing everything. I'm not trying to get a fine or get chased down. What the heck was that? That was creepy. So let's not do that. And let's just end the video here. So... Howdy. Yeah. Um, next video we will be going to Prim. And yeah. So... I will catch you guys later. Peace.